Jamie Hakez Jr., the electrifying forward from UCLA, getting knowledge in the post from the veteran Kyle Lowry. I'm telling you, NBA champion Kyle Lowry giving this young rookie game. I'm telling you, I'm very high on this young man, Jamie Hakez Jr., the first time I was able to really see his game, shout out to Andre Brown from Uniondale. You already know, doing amazing things. You know, just really giving his tutelage to all of the youth, you know, coming up right now. But nonetheless, Hawkins Jr. and the Miami Heat, they have to embark on their own journey that they're going on. Ladies and gentlemen, they struck out on the situation with Damian Lillard. Lord have mercy, Pat Riley lost out. That's very rare. We don't usually see things like that. When Pat Riley trying to get something done, usually he put the rings on the table and then everything is done. We all know the history. We'll get into it shortly. Make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports TV, ladies and gentlemen. The NBA is fastly approaching. We have preseason basketball coming up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss one second of coverage. You already know what it is. Hawkins Jr. was drafted 18th this year. He's 6'7". He had an electrifying, a couple of electrifying performances in the summer league. He showed flashes. Believe it or not, he was going to be a part of that trade. He was going to be one of the pieces that Portland was going to have. And I think that they're going to make them pay, you know, in terms of the Miami Heat. You know, do you see the intensity coming from you know, um, my man Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero don't look like he fooling around. And everybody's counting Miami out, and this is how they play. Um, I'm one of the people who believe that at times Miami could be a little arrogant, but it's up to them to prove that it's not arrogance. It's nothing but confidence, and they're going to get the job done. Miami, Pat Riley, Jimmy, you heard Jimmy say it firsthand. He believes that the Miami Heat can defeat the Milwaukee Bucks with that stack roster, and they could defeat the, the Boston Celtics with that stack roster. They truly believe that. Listen, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you. We all know that Jimmy Butler, I, I mean, some people might try to uh, say this and say that, uh, but this man has been to the finals twice, leading the basketball team. No, he didn't get the job done. This man is coming off. 22 points per game. He shot 53% from the field, 35% from three. But in the playoffs, this man takes it to him. Like I said, uh, you would Hall of Fame. You know, I'm telling you, Hall of Fame numbers. This man is going to go in the Hall of Fame, you know, because he went to the NBA Finals. Do you know how hard that is to do? Now, we could sit up here and say he ain't a number one. He ain't a number this and all that. But he got his team to the finals. It's just when he got there, it was some stacked rosters. That that first time when they got there, they faced the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, Bam Adebayo got hurt. Um, they lost uh, Goran Dragic. I mean, it was all she wrote. Uh, it was nothing that they really could do, but they still played their hearts out. Uh, so give Miami major props. Um, <clears throat> Jamie Hawkins Jr., in my opinion, he's going to do very well with this veteran-based team. At UCLA, he averaged 17 points. He, clearly, he can score. You know, um, he got eight rebounds, so you see the potential there. Two assists. He shot 48% from the field and 31% from three. And he could definitely hit his free throws. So you don't have to worry about that. He's definitely going to fit in with the Miami Heat system. He, he definitely fits Heat culture. And if you're a Miami Heat fan, let me know your thoughts on this situation. Because, like I said, I'm very high on Hawkins Jr. Um, like I said, let's get the Bam out of bio. Bam out of bio is going to be big time this season. Uh, he's going to have to because do you see the elite level play in the front court of these teams out east? You know, um, we all know what you got to deal with with the other teams, the Knicks and the Hawks and these other teams. They're already going to do what they're going to do. Um, and then, of course, Cleveland, too, if they're in the mix. But then when you start to look at the um, Boston Celtics with Chris Stapps, Porzingis, um, Horford, you know, um, that's that's a lot. Um, then when you start to look at over there in Milwaukee, you talking Giannis, you talking Brooke Lopez, I mean, um, Dame Lillard, he attacks the basket. So you, you're dealing with a whole lot. And mind you, the East ain't never seen nothing like Damian Lillard. So we don't know exactly how the East is going to adjust to an all-out 
you know, score and how Dame is going to adjust to pure defensive play. See, it's different out west. See, a lot of people get the games kind of twisted. Everybody think Dame coming to the Eastern Conference and they just he just here to just fill up the stat sheets. At times he will, but in the Eastern Conference, it's different. It's a completely different level of play than it is our West. Our West, they just running the score up. They play a little defense here and there. Maybe in the fourth quarter, that's when they buckle down. Out East, it's defense from the first quarter to the fourth quarter. You know, uh, so they play defense a lot more aggressively. You know, 94 feet, no, is a lot of that. You're gonna be, he's going to be dealing with Dame. But I think he's the kind of player to prove that ain't nobody touching him. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what Miami's going to do because you're charting out the Lowry's of the world, um, Hero. Uh, these guys are not going to be able to do nothing with him. Uh, I guess Jimmy's going to have to deal with him, but then you got to deal with Chris Middleton. you got to deal with, um, like I said, it's crazy, Giannis and all that. So does, does Miami have to make a move? I don't know. You know, I think that they could rise to the occasion. You got to remember, a lot of guys who elevated for them last year, they wasn't really no big time names. So why can't Jamie Hawkins Jr.? I know he's a rookie, but he could be a contributor, you know, and a key one at that because they're going to need him to. They're thin they, at, the, at all the positions, you know, really right now. Like I said, they lost guys for nothing. You've seen guys walk out the door. Uh, so they lost. Uh, they lost Struess. Um, I think he went to um, to Cleveland. Um, obviously, we know what happened with Vincent. He's in Los Angeles. All of these guys have moved on, and people are looking at Miami like, "What's up?" But they are confident as ever, and I know it's coming from Pat Riley upstairs. You know, and it's, and it's trickling down downstairs. So it's going to be interesting to see how they figure this whole season out. Uh, we got to remember Miami just squeaked in the playoffs last year and they made it all the way to the finals. So who's to say that they don't just plummet all the way down? I hope that's not the that that's going to happen, but I do think that they can rise, you know. So we're going to keep our eyes and antennas on the situation out there in Miami. Uh, I be, like I said, if you high on Hotcats Jr., make sure you subscribe if you want more news updates and more. Miami is really getting it in right now. I'm very, I'm very confident in what's going on out there in Miami, believe it or not. But I do believe that they are a little arrogant and it can come back to bite them. And the teams right now out east, they're not fooling around. Dame ain't fooling around. He didn't go to the place he wanted to go to. Um, they got a stacked roster. Uh, you got Giannis now. I'm, I'm keep talking the Bucks because that's my team to win it all. But um, it's just gonna be dangerous. But I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, it's Flight Sports TV. Look out for Jamie Hawkins Jr.